CIO is the sef second FDA approved indication for CRISPR. It was first approved in April of 2018 for the treatment of X-linked uh, hypophosphatemia in both adults and pediatric patients. So TIO is a rare disease caused by benign, slow-growing tumors that produce excess levels of FGF23. Uh, FGF23 is a bone-derived uh, hormone that helps to control the levels of phosphorus in our, in our body. So when you have too much FGF23, it attaches to that phosphorus, preventing it from being reabsorbed by the kidney and gut for uses in the body, in particular, the, the, the bones. Um, so this, the, that phosphorus is subsequently excreted from the body and that available as an essential uh, mineral for building uh, healthy bones. So patients with TIO oftentimes uh, suffer from severe hypophosphatemia, uh, which is low levels of phosphorus in the blood and this leads to osteomalacia, which is a softening of bones, uh, which leads to bone pain, uh, oftentimes fractures, as well as muscle pain and, and fatigue. There are, are an estimated 500 to 1,000 people in the U.S. with TIO. Approximately half of those cases are believed to have non-resectable tumors, and those are the patients eligible for treatment with CRISPR. Because if you can remove the tumor, you take care of the excess FGF23. It's when you can't remove the tumor when you should think about Crispita as a uh, treatment. Uh, up until the approval of Crispita, these patients were treated with conventional therapy, either oral phosphates and or vitamin D replacement uh, in hopes of uh, offsetting the phosphorus that had been excreted. The challenge is, is that you're not treating the underlying disease as Chris Vita is, and oftentimes these benefits have to be balanced with the potential side effects of the conventional therapy, and kidney failure is one of those uh, side effects from, kidney, from uh, the conventional therapy. But the FDA approved TIO for Chris Vita uh, based on data from two single arm phase two studies that followed about 27 patients for up to uh, 144 weeks, almost three years. So in these studies, Chris Vita was associated with increases in serum FOS, and which led to improvements in osteomalacia, subsequently healthier bones, less fractures, and other symptoms that, uh, that, I, that I discussed earlier.